Here we are at Chain Dam with Ev on the Lehigh Canal. One of the best preserved sections of canal in America. They do excursions on it here. There's a whole lot of history here. I've probably gone over a little bit of it in the past uh, regarding the chain dam. This is not the original chain dam. So the original one, this one was a replacement. You have a fish ladder on the other side just to help the spawning shad and make, it, make their way back up the Lehigh again. Wasn't really successful. People like to throw the idea of a fish ladder out there pretty often um, when they're talking about dam removals, but they've not been the success that they were intended to be. Because they keep the mules uh, seasonally, but they're wintered elsewhere. So, the original dam was parallel with the old lock house here. And when I say old, this one is a 20th century lock house. It's not an original one because the original lock house burned down. But it was done a nice job with uh, restoring it. So, plus there's a, st a snubbing post here. You can see the lock here is lined with some wood. Wood stuck in the walls there. There would have been wood along the edges of the locks to keep the boats from crashing into and then damaging the stonework here when this was in service. It's the original, uh, the original dam, known as the chain dam, would have been right over here at this height of land here. And I can see it a little bit across the Lehigh right now, but it's it's kind of obscure uh, where the original dam was. So Chain Dam is officially Dam 8, and this is Guard Lock 8. Hang on tight, Ed. We're going to go up a hill. Boom! Guard Lock 8. Kept in pretty nice shape here. Now, the Lehigh Canal's locks, 47 and such, that's, that's further up, but their guard locks are numbered separately from the rest of the locks on the canal, which is an interesting thing. On a lot of the canals, like the Morris Canal, the guard locks are numbered consecutively and include the... Uh... Yes, Ed, hang on, we're going to push you out onto here. They're, uh, they're all operated consecutively. So this is, here's the, the gates where water from the Lehigh would feed the canal downstream. Now down in the canal below here, you see there's some wreckage in here. It was in here until recently sinking. All right. Here, you see that? That is the original tourist canal boat, the Josiah White. The one that's parked a little further down this way is the Josiah White II. Interesting fact about this boat, the remnants of which are in this little uh, lagoon of the canal. We're gonna pull you right back up here. That, uh, according to David Barber's book on the Delaware and Hudson Canal, was originally in use as a tourist ride on the Delaware and Hudson Canal up uh, east of Honesdale, New York, near, uh, near Hawley. Um, that tourist excursion closed up and reportedly that boat was moved down here when this one opened up. And uh, it was still used when I was little. And uh, I remember going on one of the first rides on the Josiah White II, which is the one that's operational now. There's the uh, former Lehigh Valley Railroad there. Hopefully we'll see a train. Right, Ev? So, okay, so back to the guard lock. Um, guard lock 8 only had a lift of about one foot. Its main purpose was to protect the section of the canal below here from the moving waters of 
the Lehigh River here. Now this is still a towpath and this is slack water navigation that the boats used from here. We are still on the towpath, but the original towpath wasn't here. When this first opened up in the 1820s, there's the water flowing in. When this first opened up in the 1820s, there would have uh, ferried the mules and the boats across the river together right here. The reason this is called Chain Dam is because it was a chain ferry. And then there are remnants of a towpath in the woods over on the far side of the river here that can be followed up until a certain point and then it just kind of peters out. The DNL trail does not follow this section of the Lehigh Canal because it goes across on the old Glendon Bridge out that way and then follows the former Central Railroad in New Jersey right of way, which goes over top of this stone arch you can see here. The stone arch was for the trolley to go beneath and the 